Contact forces Frictional forces Tensional forces Normal forces Air resistance forces Applied forces Spring force Non-contact forces Gravitational force Electromagnetic force Weak nuclear force Strong nuclear force Frictional forces Frictional force is generated by an object s interactions with a surface when it moves or attempts to move relative to it friction forces are divided into two types rolling and stationary friction the friction force typically opposes the motion of an item however this is not always the case when a book slides across the face of a desk the furniture creates friction in the reverse way of the book s motion friction is caused by the close proximity of two surfaces which creates intermolecular attractive interactions between molecules from distinct surfaces. As a result, friction is determined by the nature of the two surfaces and how tightly they are forced together. The equation below may be used to determine the highest amount of friction force that a material can exert on an object. Tension force. The tension force is carried via the string, rope, cable, wire, or another similar device by pulling it tightly by both ends. The fact that tension force can only pull, not push does not make any difference. We normally presume that the tension in a cable is constant throughout the length of the wire. Normal force It is a force that occurs when two surfaces come into touch with one another, or it is the supporting force applied to a body that is in contact with another steady body. It always works out of the surface or perpendicular to the surface. It is derived from the tiny displacement of molecules that mimics a spring system. The normal force is the supporting force applied to a body in contact with another body that is steady. For example, when a book is rested on a material, that surface is applying an upward force on the book in order to sustain its mass. When a person leans against a wall, the wall pulls horizontally on the person. A normal force is sometimes exerted horizontally between two objects in touch with one other. Air resistance forces. Air resistance force is the force that operates in the opposing direction of motion through a gas. It is caused by a series of interactions with air molecules. It rises in lockstep with the rate of change in gas velocity. It also gets bigger when the region perpendicular to the motion gets bigger. The ability of air reluctance to obstruct an object, s motion is widely observed. This power is sometimes neglected due to its tiny magnitude, because of this fact it is mathematically difficult to predict its value. It is especially visible in items that move at great velocities, example, a skydiver or a downhill skier, or have enormous surface areas, example, a skydiver or a downhill skier. Applied forces. An applied force is a force that a person or another object applies to an entity, or it is a force because of the movement of muscle mass. Muscle force is another name for it. When a person pushes a desk across the room, the desk is subjected to an applied force. The applied force is the force that the person exerts on the desk. Spring force. The force produced by a squeezed or extended spring on any item attached to it is known as the spring force. The dislocation of molecules provides spring force. It is constantly contrary to the displacement of spring. A pressure always acts on an item that compresses or extends a spring, restoring the item to its rest or balance state. The size of the force is precisely related to the degree of stretch or compression of most springs, particularly those that are claimed to satisfy Hook S. Law. Non-contact forces. Gravitational force, electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force, strong nuclear force. Gravitational force. A force formed by action at a distance is the gravitational force. Even though the Sun and other planets are separated by a great distance, the Sun and planets exert a pull on each other. 
This interaction between the Sun and the other planets is likewise an example of force producing from afar. Even when we move and our feet leave the Earth, as surface, and are no longer in contact with it, a gravitational pull exists between our feet and the Earth. According to the definition, it is the entity, S weight. All entities on Earth are subject to a gravitational pull that is directed downward towards the Earth, S core. On Earth, the gravitational force is always equal to the object, S weight. Electromagnetic force. The electromagnetic force is responsible for the linking of atoms and the form of materials. It is made up of basic electric and magnetic contacts. Electric forces act at some distance. Protons inside the nucleus and electrons outside the nucleus experience a force of attraction after a minimal distance difference. Magnetic forces, on the other hand, are action at a distance forces. Despite being separated by only a few millimeters, two magnets may exert a magnetic pull on each other. Weak nuclear force. The susceptible nuclear force reasons sure radioactive decay procedures and sure reactions the various maximum essential particles. Strong nuclear force. The sturdy pressure operates the various essential particles and is liable for binding the nucleus together. Difference between exert force examples. Let us find out the difference between contact force and non-contact force and the cause of different forces to exert. If two interacting objects that are exerting force on each other have physical touch or not, it distinguishes two types of forces from each other. Contact forces. When two interacting objects are in physical touch with each other, contact forces occur. Frictional forces, tensional forces, normal forces, air resistance forces, and applied forces are all examples of contact forces. Non-contact forces, this type of force is experienced when two objects are not bodily engaged with each other, but can still impose a push or pull regardless of their bodily separation. Gravitational force, electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force, strong nuclear force are example of non-contact forces. How forces arise? Due to interaction of two objects. Force is a push or pull, and it takes place due to interaction of two objects. This interaction can be bodily touching or without physical touch. On the basis of this interaction forces are put in two different categories. How to find force? Force can be calculated by Newton, S second law of motion that is F equals ma. The dynamic technique of measuring force uses a stretched spring to apply acceleration to a typical object. Although useful for defining things, it ISN, T necessarily the most practical approach to quantify forces. Acceleration is difficult to quantify. Another approach for evaluating forces is to measure the change in form or size of a body, such as a spring, on which the force is exerted when the body is not moving. The static technique of force measurement is what it is termed. The stationary approach is founded on the idea whenever a body encounters zero acceleration as a result of numerous forces, the vector sum of all forces operating on it must likewise be zero. This is, in reality, merely the second law of motion. A single force exerted on a body causes it to accelerate. This acceleration may be reduced to zero by applying a force of equal size but opposite direction on the body. A force is defined by its strength and direction. Yes, forces are everywhere around us. To lift, turn, move, open, close, push, pull, and so on, forces are required. When you toss a ball, you are exerting effort on it to propel it into the air. An item can be affected by many forces at the same time. Consider how many various forces you, LL need to ride your bike. Your feet press down on the pedals, your hands pull and push on the handlebars, and your body, S muscles keep you balanced. The tires are rubbing up against the pavement, which is forcing them back. Wow, that, S quite a collection of forces. A force is defined by its strength and direction. A force, S strength and direction are both essential. 
Soccer players use a specified amount of force to propel the ball in a specific direction when they kick the ball to another player. Forces have strength and direction at all times. Forces can be weak, as shown in the video when Zoe hits the golf ball weakly. A force can also be powerful, such as when Izzy slammed the ball into the ground. Forces, like people, have a sense of direction. The direction in which a rocket is fired must be carefully considered by rocket scientists. If even a minor mathematical error is made, the rocket's trajectory will be thrown off and the mission would fail. Frequently Asked Questions FAQs. Q. Can unbalanced forces change an object's motion? Unbalanced forces cause a body's motion to vary. There are two ways to accomplish this. The body will move if it is at rest and is pushed or pulled by an uneven force. Unbalanced forces can also cause an item in motion to shift its speed or direction. After losing a tug-of-war, a guy fall. A tug-of-war game is an excellent approach to demonstrate an imbalanced force. The game will be won if the participants on one side of the rope exert more force than the other. Another nice example is tug-of-war between you and your dog. When you let go of the toy while the dog is tugging on it, the dog will tumble backwards due to an uneven force. Q. Balanced force does not cause shift in motion. Balanced forces are two forces that have the same strength, but operate in different directions. A guy and a lady pulling on a rope. Tug of war is an excellent illustration once more. The forces are balanced if the persons on each side of the rope are tugging with equal power but in opposing directions. As a result, there is no movement. Forces that are in balance can cancel each other out. The item does not move when there is a balanced force. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. Scientific calculator and many more other tools.